Uh, when it comes to teaching specific communication and interpersonal techniques and strategies, do you think there is a role in our education system uh, for our education system to play beyond the classic sex ed curriculum? Um, well, when we think about the raising of children, how do we take young children and then we how do we support them through childhood and then adolescence and then young adulthoods to be becoming fully functioning adults? Uh, you focused, you asked the question and you said the education system, but there should be many different sectors of society who are involved in that uh, process. And the family should be the most important, really. The, the mother, the father, brothers, sisters, uncles, grandparents, uh, and as I said right at the beginning, there's been sociological trends, meaning that people have fewer and fewer access, especially to male role models in the family. Uh, but traditionally, that's how knowledge was passed down from generation to generations, from father to son, from an uncle to a son, to an uncle to a nephew, a grandfather to a grandson. Uh, secondly, we had kind of other supportive communities around uh, the family. So I'm thinking of things like churches, uh sports clubs little league baseball um these were positive influences on, on young men that the, the local uh religious minister the local sports sports chief the, the uh, sports coach um there's a uh, when i was growing up i was in a cadet formation uh military reserve units for example where you had uh, officers and non-commissioned officers who uh would sometimes you know harsh but uh, helpful manner tell you these are your deficits these are your weaknesses you, you've got to work on this you've got to you can improve you can do this uh, so we used to do marches speed marches and do assault courses and there were many times where some of the our members were looking like oh no that's I have no way I'm going to do that and they're like look you can do it you're going to do it you've got no choice and that creates a sense of resiliency and mastery uh, and a lot of that has been decimated by recent changes in society. And I think that's to the detriment of society, to the individual men and boys, and, and also to women, because you, you have a large proportion of boys now who are men and boys who are listless, who are rudderless, who spend a lot of time playing computer games, um, taking drugs, uh, and they're not going to make great husbands, not in their current state, or great fathers. Um, so I really think we need to expand outside of the education system and start thinking about those kind of third society, civic society supports to help uh, young men um, and uh, uh, the education system in, in a way has become so uh, uh, I mean I guess I can use a bit of a slang work here, so woke at least in Canada that I, I feel it's the third society uh, organisations that would be most helpful counterproductive I, I would think yeah um just to knock in a few points there um i remember watching some kind of denzel washington interview and he i can't remember what the topic was maybe it was racism or something but he says it starts in the home and that that's essentially what you're you're saying so that's a very interesting point here um i was recently talking very briefly with i don't know if you know who uh, Rosenfeld is, but he's a professor at um, uh, what was the name of the university? Um, Stanford University. So, and he famously did a study about mm -hmm. how couples meet uh, since maybe mm -hmm. just before the 1960s or something like that. So, you can see a, a very famous graph, which is being shared around um, of the lines. Uh, how the percentage of couples who met each year who met at first in school, in a church, in a bar or a restaurant, and then from 1995, online dating or, or just the Internet is what is categorized that uh, starts to come. And then uh, now in the last something like two to four years, uh, the internet is now responsible for more than 50% of how couples are now meeting. Uh, and all of the other um, categories you could see on the graph have been declining 
Uh, and it's just interesting how Mm -hmm. people know people still meet at school. Schools have not been taken away, but all these uh, methods of meeting people are now decreasing in favor of the internet, uh, online dating specifically, and social media to some extent in terms of how men and women are forming relationships. So since the mid-90s, but especially since around 2012, 2013, that is when the internet really started to take a hold on how relationships have been formed. So I don't think this is just a, a dating thing, but a society thing in general. Just like my observation from a little bit earlier, uh, here being in Peru, uh, it's not an internet culture. I go outside and everyone's outside. People aren't staying in their homes all day mm-hmm. like someone like me would mm-hmm. <laughs> in in our own homes, in our own countries. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's uh, an observation I have there. Uh, you also mentioned about um, another point about how important the family is. Some of the Asian dating coaches I have talked to in, in the space, uh, they have talked about um, Asian parenting being strict in the sense that they raise their children to be very career focused. And then they therefore miss out Mm -hmm. on their dating opportunities. Mm -hmm. They focus so much on their career and then suddenly no dating opportunities. They're struggling with finding a girlfriend, finding a wife. And so they turn to these Asian dating coaches for advice. And that is the huge theme that they keep uh, seeing, especially in uh, Asian cultures, just the fact that there's no dating advice from the father in the family, even when it is a, a full family unit. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a, sometimes I say it's half joke or half serious. The best dating advice a father can say, give to a son is uh, get a job, get a well-paid job, get a well-paid career uh, at a, um, st- with a, in a stable economic field because once you have that uh um it increases your uh, attractability because uh men who are unemployed or men who are especially when men get older if they're in jobs which are considered uh low status and which don't give much economic opportunity um then uh it it's not particularly attractive uh, to to women to, to date somebody like that, uh, and there's always a. Uh, I mean, I'm older than most of your watchers, what most of your viewers, I'm sure, but um, you know, life is uh, decades long, and uh, if you're 21 and you're working in some IT field, which is you know considered by other people a bit nerdy, um, uh, but you're well paid, uh, your dating opportunities might be limited. But by the time you get to third in your thirties and you uh, have um, increased your status, your income, uh, then suddenly your dating opportunities will become much wider, and your attract- attractiveness to to others will become much more um, engaging. And uh, th- what I'm saying here are not anecdotes; these are kind of facts. If you look at like the dating literature, the marriage literature, the relationship literature. Um, and people sometimes say, which is biologically true, like men mature later than women. Uh, so it's it's not necessarily bad advice to say focus on your career. Um, and in, actually in our study, that was something that a lot of the men said. They said they kind of enjoyed the period, but they some of them had their career took interruptions. It was to the detriment of their education. And now they're getting older. They realize uh, that it's something which they have to work on and they're, they're currently working on it and they're putting they're getting back to what they would said was their like re- real mission and purpose in life so if you're gifted as a in some field whether it's it or languages or science uh 
I, I know it's easy for me to say as an older guy and you know younger men have hormones and uh things that they want to do in life uh, but the if you take the life course approach things might not happen today and they might not happen tomorrow but in a few years th these things will be more uh, feasible regarding wider dating pool dating options your attractability etc mm -hmm.